All right, got some fun, dumb stories here. We do a lot of dumb things, especially when we are drunk adults, but we also did dumb things when we were little kids. Can you tell the difference between which is which? I always love to get your stories. You just download the WRMF app for free. Use the mic drop feature. It's a little microphone. You press it. It starts recording audio that sends to us. Tell us the dumb thing you did. Leave a little pause in the audio and then let us know if you're a little kid or a drunk adult. Our first submission here today is from Lisa. Lisa, we'd love to hear what is the dumb thing that you did? I had a driver pull over on I-95, and I took a dump on the side of the highway. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Lisa took a dump on the side of I-95. I wouldn't be able to go. I hope she was a little kid. Yeah, that does happen. I remember one time I was a little kid and uh, we were driving to my grandparents' house. I had to go to the bathroom so bad. My parents dropped me off on the side of the road. It was nighttime and I went to uh, go pee and the grass was high on the side. So I thought everything was good. But I took one step and what it was was a ditch. And I didn't realize it. And the grass was high and I couldn't see it. And I fell into the ditch. And as soon as I fell, I just pissed my pants. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> it was terrible. Was it already out? Uh, no, okay. it wasn't out. But okay. the impact from falling in the ditch and surprise in the nighttime, it just, I might as well just sat in the car and just peed myself. Aww. It was rough. Poor little thing came up all wet and confused. That, was that Fat Kevin? It was fat. Yeah. Oh, I won't give him a hug. But <laughs> he, uh, he's he's kind of gross. He's covering your don't, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't hug the Fat Kevin. And it's hard to get your arms around him. Yeah, don't do it. So what are you thinking here with uh, Lisa? Is she a little kid or a drunk adult when this happened? I feel like it's a trick and she's a little kid. Okay. I hope. I'm going to go opposite just to be the devil here. I'm going to say she's a drunk adult. Drunk adult. Okay. I'll, um, yeah, since I was a little kid, I'll go same thing. Little kid. What were you, Lisa? I was a drunk adult. <gasps> oh, no. My boyfriend brought me from Jensen Beach to Jupiter to have Mexican food. And the combination of hot salsa and tequila just didn't agree with me Ooh. and we were in a long stretch of i-95 where there are basically no places to stop and i knew an explosion was imminent <laughs> oh, <laughs> so i had him pull over and i kicked the car door open and braced myself oh my and um it was really you know my bridesmaid moment um oh. somehow my boyfriend eventually agreed to go marry me. Wow. wow. Okay, that's, that's a keeper right there, huh? I mean, that's love. I mean, I just, what a visual <laughs> for just bracing herself on the car right there and letting it go. Is that love in the air? I don't know. Uh, don't smell like love. <laughs> Yikes. There is a long, desolate stretch there. If you get a little bit uh, north on I-95... What do you do if you really have got to go to the bathroom? I think you do what she did. Yeah. That's just it, huh? I mean, desperate times call for desperate measures, but... So if we put the call out, there's a lot of people who have taken a dump on that stretch of I-95? <laughs> right now in the chat room, guarantee you there's at least 20 people that have a I took a dump on I-95 story. <laughs> okay, in that spot? Mere numbers. Yeah, I think so. Okay. All right. It's an interesting uh, little thing. We'll throw it out there. I also got a submission here from Ryan. He's got a crazy story. What is the dumb thing you did, Ryan? I fell off the back of a motorbike that was being driven by a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's a funny visual. Uh, okay. He's on a motorbike with a Boy Scout and he falls off. <laughs> um, you got to be a little kid. Okay. Yeah, I'm with the witch. Little kid. Okay. Yeah, little kid. Uh, what were you here, Ryan? I was a drunk adult. Oh. I went on a camping trip and was drinking Fireball by the campfire. My dog took off running into the dark night chasing a sound. I ran after the dog for what felt like miles, right? I hit a log, trip, and tumbled down a steep hill. I snapped my leg and oh. lay there for hours. Oh In the gosh. morning, three scouts find me, and one gets a dirt bike. The kid took off fast, hit a wreck, and I fell off, landing on my wrist, breaking that too. It took a team of adults to properly rescue me. 
Oh, that's just... Oh, gosh. That's a very uh, crazy, bizarre story. He snaps his leg out in the woods and he's saved by... It sounds like a weird dream. It yeah, does. I had this odd dream. I was camping. I was chasing my dog. I tripped over a log. I broke my leg. I was rescued by Boy Scouts and I fell off the back of their motorbike and snapped my wrist. They don't teach that in the Boy Scouts how to save drunk men? Yeah. I, do you get a badge for that? Is there a drunk savior badge that they like have? It sounds like a Mad Lib. <laughs> it did. It sounded sound like that guy what? took mushrooms and none of that even happened. <laughs> none of it happened. That guy never left his tent. Going, he was dude, in his house. Dude, that didn't happen at all. <laughs> he was in his house. <laughs> okay, and we've got uh, Benita here with a submission for a little kid or drunk adult. What happened to you, Benita? I had my uncle steal the tires off his ex-girlfriend's car. You helped your uncle steal the tires off his ex-girlfriend's car. Wow. Okay. What are you thinking on this, Virginia? Little kid or drunk adult? Boy, this could go either way, but what a fun story. Okay. I'm going to go drunk adult. All right. What do you think, Bird? I'll go little kid. Little kid. I'll stick with little kid. She's a drunk adult. That'd be an accessory. To a crime, I believe. What were you here, Benita? Okay, before you judge, I was a nine-year-old little kid. My uncle was bitter and wanted his tires back that he bought his ex. And I had these tiny fingers, which helped get the rim wrench in place. And I held a lug next while he worked like a member of a NASCAR pit crew. Boom! Four seconds, we were done. Wow. You may not be surprised to hear that he's in prison now, but I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, as long as you're okay. Didn't you, you slashed tires before, didn't you? No, I did not he slash tires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Right, that's better. That's better. Slashing's more aggressive. You're yes. right. I apologize. He's not a slasher. He's a slow leaker. It was a girlfriend. She had parked her car out in front of her ex-boyfriend's house. I was hammered coming home from the bars, and I saw it. And as I was letting the air out, I uh, leaned my head against the tire and passed out and fell asleep and woke up in the morning. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> what am I doing? Okay, this is a bad idea. You're lucky she didn't come out. Uh, she did not, but she pretty much figured out it was me, and she was not happy about oh, it. Oh, she yeah. figured out it was you? She just, yeah, she just kind of, I guess, put two and two together. I, Kevin, I tried to you got to get that poker face. I tried to deny it, but she's like, yeah, right. Yeah, who who just randomly let all the air out of my tires as I'm parked at my ex boyfriend's house? Nowadays, you could I, I don't know. you couldn't even lie about it because you had cameras somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Yeah.